All right, Christoph, let me ask you, why do you think that uh, Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now? We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. Truman Burbank doesn't know it, but his every action is part of a massive reality TV show and is being broadcasted live to the entire world. The Truman Show 1998, directed by Peter Weir, is a romantic melodramatic comedy that reflects on the hybridization of modern filmmaking. Truman Burbank, played by Jim Carrey, represents the human motivations to escape, but is kept trapped in the confines of his own fabricated reality by the creator and director of the television show, Christoph. The movie explores various themes and ideas that are relevant to the contemporary world, as well as the human needs and motivations. Throughout the film, Truman's everyday actions were being overbearingly controlled. Several attempts throughout the film to liberate from his daily life were stopped by Christoph to prevent him from leaving. Methods of control that were used are emotional and physical. Truman's fear of water was developed due to his childhood encounter with a traumatizing boat trip. This of course was intentional by Christoph and acted as an emotional barrier to prevent Truman from leaving his town of Sea Haven. Other measures of control were enforced once Truman began to act suspicious of his reality. This physical control can be seen in the hospital scene where actors were attempting to prevent Truman from further progressing into the hospital. Christoph's authority became overblinded with selfishness to protect his power over the situation once Truman became close to discovering the truth. God's sake, Chris. The whole world is watching. We can't let him die in front of a live audience. He was born in front of a live audience. The character, Truman Burbank, represents the moving force fighting the oppression of modern society. This closely relates to a modern world as many people today feel trapped either in an unhappy relationship, an unfulfilling job, or just generally unhappy. Other times, wealthier people can control the more vulnerable people with a poorer background for their own gains. In wake of such oppressions, a class structure of the global world is formed. Often this structure can be represented by the pyramid system, where people with more freedom compared to lower classes generally tend to have more control over others, and the lower down you go in the pyramid, the less freedom you typically have. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! You underestimate my power! Well said, Anakin. Well said. The result of this class structure is the reason the French Revolution occurred, where the majority of lower class peasants in 1789 suffered from class oppressions and the concept of becoming trapped in a systematic nightmare from royalty, in which they rebelled and overthrew the royal class. This historic event can be symbolized in the film by Truman rebelling against the show, and being empowered by making his own choices despite the constant control over his life from the wealthy class, aka the creator of the show. Overall, this key idea has shown us that the constant control over Truman's life is reflective of our society and the continuity of historical events as well as the way it has evolved and shaped over time. Camera slash film techniques are tools that are used in films in order to effectively convey a message. Sometimes certain camera angles are used to set the mood of the film or create a unique atmosphere. In terms of the Truman Show, various camera angles were used in different scenes to provoke unique moods. Camera angles used in the Truman Show include the long shot, which makes Truman feel small or powerless to some degree and strips him of his importance as a character. The establishing shot shows the setting of the world that Truman is in. The medium shot, which shows Truman from the waist up and brings our attention to him. The close-up brings attention to a detail which is shown in the scene where Christoph talks to Truman. The two-shot where Truman and Merrill were having an important interaction. The eye level showing neutrality and honesty, depicted in most actors' cameras focused on Truman. The high angle shows Truman to be a small or insignificant character and provides a sense of insecurity or fear. The low angle signifies a powerful figure such as the hazmat suit men who chase down Truman. The element of camera movements in the filming world allows the creator of the movie to express their ideas and thoughts in a visual form, which overall is an attempt to increase the overall meaning. The Truman Show is packed with these techniques from start to finish. Techniques that are shown in the Truman Show are panning, 
tilting, zooming, and dolly tracking, which are all used to continually track Truman's actions as he is the main focus of the film and further explores the theme of his life constantly being monitored. The use of lighting is an essential filming technique that creates the atmosphere that the director inspires for. Throughout the film, a bright and vibrant lighting effect creates the feeling that Sea Haven is a happy and safe place. However, in some more story-driven scenes, such as the reintroduction of Truman's father, the lighting is rather dark and gloomy to provoke sadness or a sense of uneasiness to the viewer and Truman himself. A state of fear or nervousness can also be provoked by lighting, as seen by the boat scene with Truman and the storm. The absence of lighting creates a dark and uneasy atmosphere relevant to the scene. Sound is an important factor in the mere creation of the film itself. Sounds created in The Truman Show can be diverted into separate categories, diegetic sound and non-diegetic sound. Diegetic sound occurs when the source is located in the scene or what the character hears, and is used to provide a general understanding and context of the scene. Diegetic sound is part of the miss on scene or everything in the scene, and is usually represented by someone talking, a phone ringing, or in terms of The Truman Show, the scene in which Truman talks to Kristoff. I know you better than you know yourself. I've never had a camera in my head. You're afraid. That's why you can't leave. non diegetic sound is the sound that is not sourced from inside the scene, but outside. Background music or voiceovers are examples of non diegetic sounds as they are outside of the character's perception. The light and classic piano music in the beginning scenes of Truman entering the Forum of Sea Haven is outside of Truman's perception but creates a unique mood, ultimately distinguishing Truman's understanding from the viewers. Dog fancy, please. Oh, thank you. Good. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. Oh, give me a paper there. That's it for this video, and I hope you learned a thing or two about the way the narrative of The Truman Show is reflective of our current society by feeling trapped, limited, or restricted, as well as the incorporation of camera-slash-film techniques and symbolism to amplify the meaning of these distinctive ideas by the representation of Truman rebelling against the show. Thank you all for watching. Oh, and in case you don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Yeah.